Hey guys, this is Subhashish. Today we will learn how to validate a response in REST Assure. Now let's see how to validate the POST response. Uh, first we will print the response using the pretty print method dot pretty print. Let's execute it. This is our body and this is our response copy it and let's paste it so this was our request body earlier we had and let me paste it here so what we are going to validate name job skills like java and c all these things we need to validate we can use assert method to validate all these things before validating let's print it like let's print this name how can you do that there are multiple ways to do that for example you can do something like this uh, for example we will print name equal to post response dot get body dot you can use path okay so in this path you can only pass your key name right now you can print it let's print it so you can see the name here okay now what you can do is now we can use uh, similarly you can print all these things like if I will show you, you can print this job also. Okay, we will do something like this. Directly we will write it here and here we will give job. You have to pass the same thing. Yeah. Let's see how to will print all these things I'm just copying it then you have to print the skills so we'll see skill 1 and skill 2 both you have to do right so for that what you can do here scales then you have to print the first value here you have to print the second value and then what was there then you have the company name so what you can do is here you can put the company name and here you have to first put this details details dot company name similarly you have to put details dot email id right now let's execute it so you can see all these things name is this job is this skill one is java skill two is c and you can hold it xyz and this one so whatever you passed in your request body same things you are getting in your response and we are printing it now we will use assert method to verify it so why assert is used assert is a method useful in determining pass or fail status of a test case 
asset methods uh, are provided by the class uh, org dot junit dot asset which uh, extends java there are uh, many important methods of asset class those are like asset equals asset true asset false asset not null assert null so we'll see how to use that so let's see that assert dot assert equals will use and we are comparing two strings right so what is expected and what is actual let's copy this and put it here and here you can put the actual one now similarly you can do for all others so here we will put job and here we will put skill of 0 skill of 1 and then we can put details of company name and details of email id and you can copy the actual values here what are the actual values right and leader and let's execute now so it got all the all your assertions got passed so your test cases are passing here if for example if you are giving something like this for example name is something like this and let's see whether it is failing or not just for testing see it got failed and what it is telling expected is this but was this so it is mismatching this is one way you can validate there is one more way you can use json path and you can print your response also let me show you that let's copy this comment this one and we'll add it here so in place of get body what you will do here is dot json path dot get here you pass your key right similarly for all others we'll do the same thing we'll change it and we'll see the result this is another way of doing the things you can use json path also let me execute it see name job skill one skill two company name and email id so either of one thing you can use it you can use json path or you can use get body dot path anything is fine then you do the assert then you compare your actual and expected result and identify your test cases failed or pass similarly you can use put and delete method for put you need to pass dot put here and in body you can use any of the methods which we have learned for post request you can use anything and for delete you can pass here delete most of the times you don't need a body for delete so it is pretty simple that's all
Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe my channel if you really like it. Thank you.